All right, this is how to play Cuckoo on right hand. Um, you're gonna find the group of three black keys, find G, put your pinky on G, and the first G is gonna hold for two beats. Um, you're gonna hold it like buffalo, buffalo. Then you're gonna put middle finger on E. That only holds for one beat, so this is the hard part. Buffalo, then you're gonna go right back to pinky on G. Buffalo, buffalo, buffalo. So the beginning part is supposed to sound like the cuckoo bird's call. So this is one cuckoo. Buffalo, buffalo, buffalo. But you're gonna do it twice in the beginning. So the beginning part has two cuckoos. So you're doing it two times. All right. After you do the two cuckoos, you're gonna go two, thumb, two, three. And that three is gonna hold for two beats. So try that part. Two, thumb, two, one, two. All right. So the two cuckoos and then that part at the beginning. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. Two, thumb, two, now this holds for two. One, two, and then you're gonna do a nice quiet thumb. Buffalo. All right, so that's the entire first line. Try the first line. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. One, two, quiet thumb, and then you're gonna go right and do another two cuckoos. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. After you add in the thumb, make sure you go right back to doing two cuckoos. Otherwise, uh, people have the tendency to hang on to that extra thumb too long. Um, so uh, your beginning part should sound like this. Two cuckoos. Two, thumb, two. This is the note that holds. One, two not the thumb. That's just for one beat, and then you go right to do two more cuckoos. All right, after you get to there, um, it's not the same as the beginning. Instead, it goes two, three, two, one. And that thumb holds for three beats. So it's two, three, two, one, holds for three beats. Um, it takes people a while to get used to playing the first part and the second part different um so make sure you practice that a lot before you try to go on in the song so here's the beginning quiet thumb and then you go right back to doing the cuckoos two three two this holds for three beats all right, now the next part, um, you're gonna do two, two, three, four, and that holds for two beats. So two, two twos, holds for two beats. Now you're doing the same exact notes again, but instead of playing two twice, you're gonna play finger three twice. So the first time, this is what you just did. You're playing finger two twice. Now you're doing the same notes again, but this time you're playing finger three twice. All right, so starting from the beginning, it sounds like this. Quiet thumb, go right back to the cuckoos. This holds for three beats, two, three. Now the new part, finger two twice. Now finger three twice, same notes. Now you're gonna do three cuckoos. First cuckoo, second cuckoo, third cuckoo. All right, so what you're adding on is three cuckoos there. So you're starting, starting from the hard part, finger two plays twice. Now finger three is gonna play twice, same exact notes, but finger three is playing twice. And now the three cuckoos.
All right, all you have left is the ending. The ending starts on finger four. So four, then finger three, then finger two, and then thumb. And thumb holds for three beats. So it doesn't start on pinky. A lot of people want to start on pinky because they're doing a bunch of fingers in a row. They want to do all five fingers in a row. It starts on finger four on ring finger. And then it holds for three. One, two, three. All right, that's the ending. All right, I'm gonna play the whole song now. Now quiet thumb, and you go right back to the cuckoos. This part can get a little quiet here. Holds for three. Now the hard part. Now the same fingers. Now three cuckoos. And now the ending. Four, three, two, one. And the last note holds for three. And that's the whole song. All right, hope this helps.